This is Helena Meyer, one of the greatest fencers who ever lived. Though her athletic dreams were compromised after Adolf Hitler came to power in her home country, Germany, and the anti-Semitic Nuremberg laws were passed in 1935, stripping her of her rights because Meyer's father was Jewish. Meyer got a second chance, however, as a movement spread throughout the world to boycott the International Olympic Games in 1936 because of host countries, Germany's religious persecution of Jews, uh, the head of the American Olympic Committee, Avery Brundage, had an idea involving Helena Meyer, who was then living in California. Here's an Associated Press story from March 1936 that shows the successful results of Brundage's plan. Quote, Despite a tendency in some quarters to rock the boat, official Germany has banned racial or religious discrimination in athletics. The famous girl fencer of Jewish extraction, Helena Meyer, has been welcomed back home and named to represent Germany in the Olympics. Visiting Jews, whether athletes or spectators, will be safer from indignities here than they would be on any New York subway during rush hour, unquote. And then you see the subhead there, no anti-Semitism. Yes, I'm talking about Germany in 1936. And I tell you about Helena Meyer and how she served as the way the Nazi German government could pretend in 1936 to be something other than the monsters they were because the Chinese government seems to have learned from her example. On Friday, the torch for the Beijing Olympic Games was lit by two athletes, one of whom was Denis Gerlerl, Ila Mujiang, a cross-country skier for the Chinese team, a woman whom the Chinese government says has ancestral roots in the ethnic Muslim minority the Uyghurs, the Uyghurs, a minority in China who are oppressed, who are tortured, who are interned by the Chinese government in the Xinjiang region. The Chinese government forces them to be sterilized. The Chinese government is committing genocide against the Uyghurs. It's an accusation the Chinese government denies, of course, despite clear evidence of their atrocities, so clear that the U.S. and other countries are currently diplomatically boycotting the Beijing Olympic Games. So Helena Meyer in 1936 and Denis Gerlerl in 2022 are being used to serve the same purpose. Now, the governments are not fooling anyone who's paying attention, but their roles in the Olympics allow the folks who are willing to put their morality on hold, the Avery Brundages of the world, to pretend otherwise, to feign. And we've seen this play out before. The embarrassing double standard that the NBA and Hollywood, for example, regularly display when righteously calling out injustices here in the U.S. while self-censoring about Chinese government atrocities. We've covered this before and we will continue to do so. The way American corporations ignore literal genocide and forced labor in the pursuit of Chinese cash. It is disgusting. Take the Coca-Cola company. Coca-Cola last year criticized a restrictive new voting rights law in Georgia. But Coca-Cola has not spoken out about China's human rights abuses, even as Coca-Cola co-sponsors the Olympic Games in Beijing, along with many other major American companies. In July, Coca-Cola's global vice president for human rights, Paul Lally, told Congress, quote, we apply the same human rights principles in the United States that we do across the world. But then, before the Senate, he declined to answer this. I believe that uh, the Chinese Communist Party is committing genocide against the Uyghur people. We're aware of the reports of the State Department on this issue, as well as other departments uh, of the U.S. government. We respect those reports. They continue to inform our program. We respect those reports. They continue to inform our program. I'm not sure which is worse. Ignoring the human rights crimes, or as some nations seem to have decided, to care more about China's investments in their countries than this genocide. Because while the U.S. and a handful of other countries are, are diplomatically boycotting these games over human rights issues, the vast majority of the world, including majority Muslim countries, Indonesia, Iran, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, are refusing to diplomatically boycott the games, to take a stand against the crimes against the ethnic Muslim minority, the Uyghurs. Nations deferring to Chinese power and influence 
mum. Corporations lusting after, lusting after Chinese cash. The competition for who is most helpful to Chinese President Xi in his desire to pretend the genocide is not going on, to pretend the crimes against humanity are not going on. That's a competition rivaling the competition among the athletes. Let the shames begin.